three, assuming each pair of half reactions below takes place in an acidic solution, write a balanced equation for the overall reaction. So now we have our two half reactions. We have the iron one, Fe, yields Fe3 plus plus three electrons. Remember, just E minus means that they're just lonely electrons. And then we have the bromine um, half reaction, Br2 plus two electrons, yield two Br minus. Now, instead of looking at this from left to right, I think that it's much easier if we look at these reactions from top to bottom. It doesn't matter which one goes on the top or which one on the bottom. So I'll just go from, you know, iron and then we'll go to the bromine. So I'll say, okay, we have Fe yields Fe 3 plus plus 3 electrons. And then on the bottom, I'll put the other one, Br2 plus 2 electrons yield 2 Br minus. Let's just center these out. And now let's work with them. The first thing you always want to make sure that there is balanced elements, right? We just want to make sure that the, the element part is balanced. So I'm not even going to worry about the electrons right now. That's coming later. Just make sure that your elements are balanced. But it looks like they are here. I have one iron, one iron. Two bromines, two bromines. So the elements are balanced. Now we just have to balance the charges by looking at the electrons. Because in, in, a, in a general balanced equation, right, when we start learning balanced equations, you never saw electrons in your balanced equation. They are there. However, they always cancel out because you cannot gain electrons or lose electrons that are a different number. They always have to be the same, and that's why they cancel. So, but on this example, I have three electrons on the right side, and I have two electrons on the left side. They have to be the same number. And the only way that we can make them the same, if I want to combine these two together, is by multiplication. Now, all you got to do is just look at those coefficients. I have three, just like we said, and two. So I say to myself, how am I going to get this the same number? By multiplying, right? No number times two is going to be equal to three, a whole number. Whoop. And no number times two is going to be equal to three. I think I just said that, but you kind of get the, the point. So I'm going to have to multiply both of these numbers to get the next common value up. The next common number that two and three have in common is a six. I could take the three and times it by two. That will get me six electrons. And then I could take the two electrons, times it by three, and that will get me six. But you gotta be fair. Whenever you do this, you have to multiply all of the components in that equation. So I'm gonna use the three for all of them. I have to use the two for all of them in their respective um, equations. So let's go. Two irons. I did have one iron in the beginning. There was no coefficient. So now I have two Fe's. And that will yield two irons with the three plus. So two Fe three plus. And now I have six E minus. Because two times three is six. Once I make my new equation, I don't care about the old one. So I'm just getting rid of it. Goodbye. We don't look at that one ever again. Let's do the same thing for the bottom one, right? Now I have three Br2s plus, now I have six electrons, because three times two is six. Yield sign. And now I have three uh, Br minuses. Get rid of this equation, goodbye, never to see it again. And now we only work with these two that are remaining, this one and this one. Now we're going to, and maybe, maybe to make this even easier, just so that we're on the right page, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring this down here and throw these ones that we're not using up here. Just kind of makes it easier, right? Now let's add up the equations. And when you add the equation up, you're combining them into one equation and 
you cancel things out that are on opposite sides that are the same. So six electrons and six electrons, they go bye-bye. So goodbye. And then I just look and see if I have any other thing that's the same on both sides, but I don't. So I just rewrite it. Doesn't matter which one goes first on the reactant side. I'm just going to work from top to bottom. So I have two Fe's plus three Br2's. And that yields two Fe three plus plus three Br minuses. And just kidding, I just caught that. Three times two is six, not three. Thank goodness I caught that. But everything else looks good here. So I'm just gonna change that three, put that for a six, and now we are good to go. Let's just center this and box it off. And that is our final answer. Oh yeah. So I hope this helped you out. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel. That will help us out tremendously. My brother and I thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts. We really do appreciate you all. Thank you so much for, you know, your, all your kind comments and just support of the channel. Thank you so much and have an awesome day. Bye-bye.